So Google Maps just keeps getting better. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and preface this. Yes, I'm aware of the privacy concerns. Yes, I'm sharing where people are. Uh, the government already knows where I'm at based on my phone. And if you don't want the government to track you or Google to track you, turn your phone off. Don't even have a phone because that's how that works. But if they're going to track me and since I'm using a phone and wandering around with it all the time and it has GPS in there, I don't have a flip phone. I have a Nexus uh, smartphone. So I, why not get some benefit from it? Well, that's what Google's doing. Now, this is the lo new location sharing feature. Now there's a lot of new features in Google apps. This one's a fairly recent one, but I've started using it quite a bit and it's become very handy, especially on my recent trip to Seattle. Uh, you can find out where people are. So I know my wife's at work and it lets me see right where she's at, whoops. And we're gonna go here to maps, location sharing. I can click on, there's my wife and she's at work. As of one minute ago, her GPS showed there. Now I also have my daughter in here and she should be at school right now and appears that she is at school right now. And her phone was last, this is weird, last touched 51 minutes ago, but she I think she turns it off while she's in school. She's in high school, so they, they frown upon constant phone usage. Uh, I know my wife never turns her phone off. <laughs> to her, she's always playing with it. But what this does is allows people to share location. Now you do the sharing and the location sharing via the app. That's why it says use the app here. So let me show you that on the phone. So here's this, let me get this out of the way. So same menus, share location. I can click on it. There she is. And there my daughter is. So these and Marvin decided not to share, but that's a different story. Uh, I can see that she's near Bingham Farms, which is correct. I can then, I want to navigate to her. There it goes, it updated. You just double click on it. And it tells me from my office how quick to get there, all your standard map options. So I can start and route right to her. Now, if I want to add, and let's see, I'm right here at work. And if I wanted to add someone in here, I like the way this works. So it lets me know first who I'm sharing my location with. They'll show up at the bottom. And when I click this, share your real time location for by default one hour. But I still have to either select a person or a method by which to share it. I can share a link. I can say until this turns off. So you implicitly and specifically have to allow the sharing. And this is important. That way you can't just kind of fumble around on the phone and add your sharing. So I have to implicitly say, share my location with, and the people on here had to share their location with me. And that's an important way the app works. That way you don't accidentally uh, have a stalker send you a friend request, so to speak, or some type of sharing request and you say, uh, yes, whatever this thing is. And next thing you know, people are following you around. This is specifically so you can share with someone. So this is, a, like I said, I really like the feature. Some people go, wow, that's creepy knowing where everyone is, but being able to do this, uh, and I've been, I, this is my personal one, but I have my employees too, and we're starting to use it uh, for work because I don't have to ask uh, ETAs or anything like that for my employees if they're routing somewhere, you know, if they're going on site for a job. If a client calls, we can look, we can see them on the map, and all this is just now built into Google. So definitely a pretty sweet system, and I'm really happy with it. It definitely uh, works really well and it doesn't have too much of a creepy factor here. So like I said, it's really easy to do. You go there, you can share. Uh, and in the case of me, you can uh, use multiple accounts. So I can share my personal one and I can have my other one and I can share separately for them so I can have different groups. And it's easy to turn off. You can turn it on for one hour. You can turn it on for some length of time. And, but it makes it really easy to find someone. It also turns out it makes it easy for my uh, daughter to know, dad, you haven't left work yet. Are you gonna be on time? <laughs> and she sends me messages. But it's uh, pretty neat. It's location sharing. It's free built into Google Maps. And yes, it does work. As long as they're using uh, the Google Maps function, it will work on non-Android phones. So if they're using an iPhone, but they are using uh, a Google address signed into a Google account and they're using the Google Maps on the iPhone, yes, it will share the location back. But it works flawlessly with Android. I really don't have any friends using iPhone to really test this with, but uh, definitely pretty neat. And something to keep an eye out there if you're looking for kind of a neat and easy way to share or set your employees up. Some people have accounts uh, for business and you can share with the employees and see where your team is at, especially if you're like us and traffic becomes a factor driving places. So you can kind of uh, predict it, but this is not a charge for service. It's just something else. I mean, Google's slurping up your data anyways. Why not get some benefit for it? So thanks for watching. If you like the content here, like and subscribe. Thanks.